following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. This segment of AM Northwest is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. Women of color in the U.S. have a higher risk of dying from pregnancy-related causes, and the infant mortality rate is higher for babies of color. Here to tell us about a new program to improve birth outcomes and reduce racial disparities, we welcome from Providence Portland Medical Center, obstetrician, hospitalist, Dr. Brendan Carroll, along with assistant nurse manager for maternity service, Jenny Dees. Good to have you both with us. Um, doctor, let me start with you, though, but why are death rates and... Uh, issues higher for women of color and babies of color? Yes, this is a disturbing uh, statistic that the pregnancy related mortality rate for black women is about three and a half times higher than it is for white women. And this disparity is largely due to social and economic inequities, which are based in racism and discrimination. Um, black people are disproportionately affected by the social determinants of health. This is different than medical care or personal lifestyle, personal lifestyle choices. Social disturbance of, determinants of health are the circumstances that impact people's health and well-being. It includes um, where a person is born, where they live, where they work, and it affects uh, how easily someone can access high quality education, um, reliable transportation, and access to prenatal care. Wow, okay, and, and Jenny, tell me about the team birth program that you have. Explain how it works. Yes, yeah, so Providence partnered with Ariadne Labs. Uh, we kicked off last year in June, um, but, but prior to that, we had a lot of preparation and um, planning with the implementation committee. Team Birth is a nationwide program that improves outcomes for women of color um, and babies of color as well. Um, just by improving the communication between the teams. So it's very simple and, and in a way, a lot of people were saying, don't we already do this? Um, and that's true, but this is putting a, um, a structure in place for the communication at all births. So it's a whiteboard in the room. Um, it's very simple in structure and it's really meant for our families to utilize. Um, as well as our team to communicate back and forth. We identify who the members of the team are in advance so that they know that who is coming in and out of the room and what their role is. Um, we identify what concerns um, or preferences the patient has and so they're there on the whiteboard at a glance for any provider that walks into the room um, that may be helping in their care then they can see at a glance and then it has a, a third section that's about the plan of care and they break that down into the plan of care for a mother or a birthing person as well as for the baby that, um, and then as well as the labor progress so it has the three sections for the plan and then and the final section of the whiteboard is just a time that we will huddle together again. So it's making a plan in advance. This is the plan right now. Things may change as labor progresses, and this is when we'll meet again. And a huddle could take place in person. Uh, it can also take place on the phone. So we can get speaker phones in the room and get the provider on the phone. Maybe it's middle of the night and we want to make a plan together. And it might not be a time that the provider necessarily needs to be at the bedside, but it can be done with the speaker phone. And the idea is just to have all members of the team in communication together at the bedside to include the patient in all the decisions. That's really a great idea. That program sounds wonderful across the board. Um, doctor, so in relation to what Jenny said, it sounds like women of color have not been listened to about their concerns or their issues. Yes, that's definitely part of the problem. Unfortunately, there are also racial disparities in the communication problems that uh, occur between the care team and the person giving birth. And this kind of problem happens too often in healthcare. Part of this problem is implicit bias, which is associated with lower quality of care for patients. There, there's a higher chance that implicit bias may be activated under stressful uh, situations, which can occur sometimes in labor and delivery. And implicit bias is unintentional, but it does affect our judgment and our decisions. 
on labor and delivery at Providence Portland Medical Center. We do a great job working as a team in providing high quality and safe patient care. However, we, we can do a better job providing this quality of care more consistently to all of our patients and families. Makes sense. And Jenny, the program's been in place about six months. How is it going? It's going well. We're still learning as we go, um, but we are getting positive feedback from our staff, from our patients, um, even from our support people. So I had a, a father who didn't expect that he would be included as much as he was in the delivery, and he gave that feedback. Um, we have heard from women of color who had lost trust in the medical system and they shared with their OB provider their fears in advance of delivering. Um, that provider gave me the feedback that she had shared with her patient, how she would feel safe and taken care of here in our hospital. And she explained to her team birth and how that would help her to be included in her care. And the feedback um, rounding with her after her delivery was that she really did feel it made a difference. That's great. We, we want to tell everyone if they would like to find out more, you can contact Providence Health, Pregnancy, Labor, and Birth Care to find out more about that on our website at katu.com. Dr. and Jenny, thank you both so much. And thanks for the work you're doing. Thank you so thank much. You. Thanks for having us. You bet.